Hello, I'm Spiros Skidopoulos. And I'm Calum Kelly. Welcome to Fast Five, put on by the Indiana University Media School. Start your timers because our five minutes has begun. This past Saturday, IU football traveled to Northeast Lansing, Michigan to take on the Michigan State Spartans. Our Jesse Witt has the recap. Coach Signetti and the Indiana Hoosiers traveled to East Lansing this Saturday to take on the Michigan State Spartans. Curtis Rourke was back under center, aiming to lead the Hoosiers to a perfect 9-0 record. The game started slowly for the Hoosiers, who found themselves trailing 10-0 at the end of the first quarter. However, Rourke quickly turned things around, connecting with senior tight end Zach Horton on a 17-yard touchdown pass, bringing the score 7-10. Just a few plays later, sophomore defensive back Amari Farrell grabbed an interception. A couple drives later, Farrell did it again, recording his second interception of the game, delivering a crucial boost of momentum for Indiana. The Hoosiers carried their momentum into the second half, opening with the safety and quickly following up with an 18-yard touchdown reception by Miles Rice, widening the lead 33-10. Indiana closed out the game with two additional touchdowns, a 16-yard rush from Omar Cooper Jr., and another touchdown catch by Elijah Surratt. Michigan State came out and uh, really made some impressive plays on offense, uh, throwing and catching. And uh, we responded with a nice touchdown drive. And then we got a couple turnovers on defense, which were huge. And, uh, you know, we were making plays on offense, timely plays. The Hoosiers dominated after the slow first quarter, securing an impressive 47-10 victory. Work finished with an impressive four passing touchdowns on 263 yards. With the win, the Indiana Hoosiers improved to 9-0, remaining at the top of the Big Ten Conference standings. This Saturday, they return home to face the Michigan Wolverines in what's shaping up to be their most anticipated game this season. It's an exciting time to be a Hoosiers fan. Thanks, guys. Back to you in the studio. Following another dominant victory, the Hoosiers climbed all the way up to the number 8 spot in the AP poll between Tennessee and BYU. This Tuesday, the College Football Playoff Committee will release their first set of rankings. Look for that Tuesday night on ESPN at 7 p.m. IU returns home this Saturday to host the defending national champion Michigan Wolverines. The game will be at, at 3.30 on CBS. Coming off a charity expedition win against the number 12 Tennessee uh, Volunteers, the Hoosiers returned home to take on the Mar Marion University in another expedition game this past Friday. Pat Knight, son of the famous Indiana basketball coach Bob Knight, made his return to Assembly Hall as the head coach of the Marion Knights. The Hoosiers came out strong, hitting the first seven of their eight shots, and by halftime, the Hoosiers led 50-25, with Malik Renew leading the team with 12 points and six rebounds. The second half was equally as dominant, with Umar Balo taking command with 16 points and seven rebounds. The Hoosiers ended up winning the game 106-64, with freshman Bryson Tucker leading the team with 19 points. Overall, Indiana shot 65, though they shot 24% from three, and that's something the team has been looking to build off of. Well, again, I mean, we didn't shoot it well from the three-point line. I mean, we shot it well from twos, and, you know, we had all good looks, and we're going to keep shooting them. You know, eventually they'll go in, but, you know, what I liked most about the game tonight, we, we, we defended, you know, and we had 33 assists and 10 turnovers. So that's a positive. And this past Wednesday, women's basketball opened up their preseason by taking on the Maryville Saints. The Hoosiers got going fast, with Lily Meister starting the game off with six points. From there, the Hoosiers would dominate the rest of the evening. Indiana led 50 to 14 at halftime and pulled away even more to win the game 95 to 27, an absolute clinic. Lily Meister, looking to replace Indiana's all-time leading scorer, Mackenzie Holmes, shot 9 for 11 with 19 points and had a block. Yarden Garzon had 20 points as she went 4 of 8 from 3. The Hoosiers will end up their, will end their regular season tonight hosting Brown in Assembly Hall. That game will be at 7 p.m. and can be streamed on Big Ten+. Plus. This past Friday, men's soccer concluded the regular season with a win over Trine and that a big share of the Big Ten national or regular season title. Before the game started, the number ranked 16 Hoosiers honored 10 seniors as a part of senior night. Just as there were a lot of seniors honored, all four goals would be scored by different players. Charlie Hewer opened the scoring with the first minute of the game with a cross from Tommy Mahalik. Then in the eighth minute, Hewer turned around and served up the assist to Michael Neske for the second Hoosier goal of the night. 
The third goal came from Collins Odour at the back post, and Alex Barger made the lead 4-0, and the Hoosiers would win the game 4-1. The Hoosiers once again came through in October, winning nine games, losing none, and tying only one. Indiana now looks forward to the Big Ten tournament where they will play Michigan in the first round, and if they advance, they would then play the winner of Maryland and UCLA in the conference semifinals. And just like that, our five minutes are up. I'm Spiro Skidopoulos. And I'm Calum Kelly. Make sure to follow us on all your socials and catch us on Wednesday for a preview of all your Hoosier sports. And thank you for joining us.